Hi, everyone. It's me, Dr. Stacy Betancourt, with another edition of Making Sense with Dr. Stacy. And today we talk about making our own magic. When we're young, our imaginations are this incredible toy. Yeah, for example, I mean, we, we could picture ourselves in a castle, on the moon, at our local ice cream shop, getting whatever we wanted and no parent could tell us no. And we could also use our imagination to transform our lives, you know, to, to be something different or somewhere different. For example, I wanted to be a famous actress and a singer and a dancer. And, you know, I wanted magical powers and, you know, to be able to cast spells. And, you know, how many of us were like that? And then we grow up and we tuck our dreams and our fantasies away. We destroy our magic and we take on responsibilities and, you know, ad adulting, if you will. And the question is why? Growing up and being responsible shouldn't rob us of the magic that we used to create. And you know, I think about how our imagination changes as we get older. For example, you know, as we get older, we're no longer using it in the same way. Like we're not, I mean, some of us might still imagine ourselves in the ice cream shop eating whatever we want, but we also use our imagination to help us visualize the things we want. So the thing is, is like, you know, that responsibility aspect shouldn't rob us of our magic. And we need our magic in order to sometimes achieve the things that we really want in life. And, and being able to visualize ourselves in the roles that we're looking for, if it's the promotion, if it's winning, you know, getting into the marathon, if it's trying to create something that you really want to create, learning how to bake something that you've never baked before, you know, whatever your dream is, do you understand that your dreams, your aspirations is an offset of our imagination and that's our magic. And, you know, the thing is, is that I'm not suggesting, okay, I'm going to imagine myself flying like a bird on the wing. Well, we all know that unless I'm wearing a hang glider, that's not happening. But it's the idea that we are visualizing for ourselves what we want. It's our steps. How do you know if you are going to reach something or if something is doable if you don't visualize the steps and the process that it needs to, that you need to take in order for these things to happen. For example, you know, that visualization piece is your mind map. Without it, that, I mean, that's your plan. And without your plan, how are you gonna achieve much of anything truly? And I'm not saying you have to over plan and overstep and over visualize. It's a step-by-step -step process. I think about these videos. Are they as successful as I'd like them to be? No. But if I can get just one person to watch it and maybe gain something from it, then it's worth it. It's worth it to me. So the thing is, is that does that make us a dreamer? Well, dreamers are doers. And does that mean I'm ruling out the realist? No, because guess what? A realist is someone who has visualized themselves as a success in whatever they're going after. They go after it and they get it. So there isn't a true realist and there isn't a true dreamer. They are one and the same. It's just the realist has actually gone after it and made it happen. And you know what? We all have that ability. We just may not be there yet. So, you know, the idea is go after those goals. Dream those dreams. And understand that, you know, 
some of these dreams are not going to come true overnight. They're going to take time. And that's okay. As long as you are doing something for yourself to make those dreams come true, to meet the milestones you make for yourself, you're on your way. And so it's important to try. Just because something's hard doesn't mean you give up. You may have to take a step back. You may have to think of another pathway, but don't give up. If there's something you really want in life, go for it because no one's keeping score but yourself. And so with those thoughts in mind, what are your dreams? What is your magic? And what are you doing to go after it? Not sure? Let me know. Have a plan? Drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear them. And I would love to root you on because sometimes just having one person believe in you makes all the difference in the world. So for this week, go after those dreams. Don't be afraid. Remember to treat everyone with respect and with grace because we don't know what journey they're on. Please treat yourself with some grace. We are so hard on ourselves because you matter. So be kind, be good, take care. This is Dr. Stacey Betancourt with another edition of Making Sense with Dr. Stacey and I'm making my dreams come true. Take care and I will see you next week.